Lewis Howard Latimer was born on September 4, 1848, in Chelsea, Massachusetts. He was the youngest of four children born to Rebecca and George Latimer, who had escaped slavery in Virginia and settled in Massachusetts. After his parents separated, Lewis and his siblings were sent to live in a farm school. At the age of 16, Lewis joined the U.S. Navy and served as a landsman. After leaving the Navy, Latimer started working as an office boy in a patent law firm. His talent for drafting patent drawings was quickly recognized, and he was promoted to the position of head draftsman. In 1874, he co-patented an improved toilet system for railroad cars. He also worked with Alexander Graham Bell on patent drawings for the telephone. In 1879, Latimer moved to Bridgeport, Connecticut, and was hired by the U.S. Electric Lighting Company. While there, he invented a modification to the process of manufacturing carbon filaments for light bulbs, which reduced breakages during the production process. In 1884, he joined the Edison Electric Light Company, where he worked as a draftsman and expert witness in patent litigation. Latimer's contributions to the field of electric lighting were significant. He wrote the first book on electric lighting and supervised the installation of public electric lights in major cities like New York, Philadelphia, Montreal, and London. He also developed an early version of the air conditioner and invented a safety elevator. Throughout his life, Latimer was involved in various other endeavors. He was a founding member of the Flushing, New York, Unitarian Church, and he taught English and drafting courses to immigrants at the Henry Street Settlement in New York. Additionally, he was an early advocate for civil rights and wrote about equality, security, and opportunity for African Americans. Lewis Howard Latimer died on December 11, 1928, at the age of 80. His legacy lives on through the Lewis H. Latimer House Museum, which was once his residence and is now dedicated to honoring his work as an inventor and engineer. That was a glimpse into Lewis Howard Latimer's life. Comment to suggest new story. Like and follow for more.